Is it time to buy or sell PayPal stock? In this video, we're diving deep into PayPal. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, May 24, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 9, 2023, our system has ranked PayPal as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 2.19. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 6.23%. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.52% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the lower of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $59.68 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 13.46% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 16.43% and 2.61%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 15.75% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 17.66% and 21.54%. This translates to a price range of $50.89 to $75.11 after a year. Our latest daily update for PayPal includes the headline, PayPal stock price ended on $61.80 on Wednesday after losing 0.323%. The PayPal stock price fell by minus 0.323% on the last day, Wednesday, May 24, 2023, from $62 to $61.80. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.61% from a day low at $61.23 to a day high of $62.22. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 2.49% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 2 million shares and in total, 14 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $895.28 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $103.03, and the lowest price was $60.40. Currently, the price is 40.02%, or $41.23, below the 52-week high, and 80.07%, or $248.36, below the all-time high on July 26, 2021, when the price reached $310.16. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Monday, February 6, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 133. On Monday, February 6, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 133. On Tuesday, December 13, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 85. On Tuesday, December 13, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 85. On Tuesday, December 13, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 85. Analysts have given PayPal stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for PayPal. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, May 16, 2023, and so far it has risen 1.64%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The PayPal stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. 
Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $70.21. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $61.61. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, buy signal 7 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 10 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 13 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 22 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 13 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 14 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 67 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for PayPal PayPal finds support from accumulated volume at $61.69 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.99 cents between high and low, or 1.61%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.42%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for PayPal, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A high P-E ratio could mean that the stock is overvalued or that investors expect high growth rates in the future. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 31, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.16. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for PayPal. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for PayPal is at $63.38. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, PayPal encounters its first support level at $61.69. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for PayPal from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On April 15, 2023, Kim John C. conducted an insider buy of 13,428 shares of restricted stock units minus 4. On April 15, 2023, Karksmer Aaron conducted an insider buy of 40,282 shares of restricted stock units minus 9. On April 15, 2023, Scheib Gabriel conducted an insider buy of 26,855 shares of restricted stock unit 12. On April 15, 2023, Alfred Peggy conducted an insider buy of 33,569 shares of restricted stock units minus 7. On April 1, 2023, Shulman Daniel H. conducted an insider buy of 126,370 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 36.948. Overall, insiders purchased 1,192,982 shares and sold 524,008 shares in the last 100 trades.
We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is PayPal stock a good buy? PayPal holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, May 25th, we expect PayPal to open down $0.0517 and start trading at $61.75. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.